Hey guys, what's going on? Another double header here tonight. Just give me one second. We're gonna be taking on number 25, Maryland, and then Wake Forest in game number two of the double header. Sorry for the very late start tonight. Had a crazy day. Got a new car, had to go to the store several times for things that we forgot. And I'm just I'm not gonna bore you with all that information. So let's just get on into this. And see if we can continue our undefeated streak. We are 8-0 on the season. It has been an outrageous season, to say the least. I did not expect this to happen at all. But I am enjoying it. Alright. We are shared in the Discord. And let me... Exit out of here. What's up, Tyler? Michael Gregory in the chat. Two-Face Bison. What's up, man? What's going on, everybody? Slap that like button if you haven't already. Helps the channel grow. Gets these videos into recommendeds of people that are not subscribed to the channel, so I would really appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Let me get my chat up on my phone. Now that I've exited out of it on my computer and we will get this thing started we'll take a look at the sports illustrated here first check out the heisman watch list all that fun stuff all right i scared you tyler how did i scare you buddy all right here we go let's do it sports illustrated who how high can these tar heels climb in the polls darian durant on the cover of the Volume 2, Issue 11, Sports Illustrated. He has been electric, to say the least, this season. He has been phenomenal. The uh, first poll rankings are out. Or not the first, but, you know, probably like the third, but I just forgot. <laughs> oh, well. And really nothing too shocking here, except for Auburn leapfrogging Oklahoma here in the top five. I don't really care about that right now. Top 25, Virginia lost. Fantastic. 59-23, they got spanked. Heisman watch. Darian Durant is now number two on the Heisman watch list. 32 total touchdowns, 2,383 yards passing, 307 yards rushing. Let's look at his stats from this season compared to last year. He has been lights out. He's been healthy all season long for the most part, and the offensive line has been doing a really good job keeping him upright. And the receiving core... Also doing fantastic, and that is why he is number two currently on the Heisman Watch list. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What's going on, brother? Award semifinalists. Let's see what we got here first. Durant, number two for the Maxwell. Durant, number one for the best quarterback, the Davy O'Brien Award. Timmy Chang from Hawaii is number two. Ben Roethlisberger, number three. Best running back, not on there. Best wide receiver, Adarius Bowman. 41 catches, 804 yards, six touchdowns for the sophomore. He is phenomenal. And he's one more touchdown, and he'll break his career record from last season, which was six. Best offensive lineman, nobody on there. Let's see, Bednarik, Justin Tuck is on there. Sean Taylor. Isn't the Bednarik for, like, front seven? I thought for sure the Ben Narek was for front seven. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure it was. That's linebacker. I don't think we have any guys on here. A couple of guys from Arkansas, though. Thorpe, Sean Taylor, Alex Russell is number two? Oh my goodness, what? No way. That is crazy. His stats are a little bit better than Sean Taylor's, surprisingly. Taylor has more tackles for a loss and three more sacks, but Russell has three more interceptions. He has a forced fumble and two touchdowns on the season. Taylor with three forced fumbles. Sean Taylor, my favorite football player of all time, of course. Absolute beast. Blue Grozo Award. And we are not on there. 
Best coach, Harold Beecher, number two. Let's get it. 8-0, and baby. Let's go. That's it. Rewards. Players of the week. Unless we're on the cover, I just really don't care that much. Copper standings, yada, yada, yada. We're undefeated. It doesn't matter. Let's go and beat up on Maryland. Let's do it. Only watching the series because you like the content. I appreciate the support, buddy. I appreciate you. Russell for the Thor. Go get that award. Man, I will be surprised if Alex Russell wins the Thorpe Award over Sean Taylor in his freshman season. That would just blow my mind. It really would. Alright, let's see. Make sure we're on the right account here. Or right profile, rather. Let's do it! Oh, man. Crazy, crazy day. Got a new SUV tonight. Finally, my family was without a car for over a month. Our van died at Walmart in, uh, let's see, in February. Early February. And we finally got ourselves some wheels, so we went out on a little joy ride, went to the store a couple times. And, you know, it was a pretty good day, though, overall. All right, let's get it. Trying to go 9-0. and oh, We are riding a 10-game winning streak dating back to last season. And Dominique Foxworth gets a nice little return there. Sean Mahan in the chat. What's going on, Sean? How you doing, buddy? Glad to see you, man. All right, defense. Let's get it. A little uh, man coverage here. First game of the night is obviously a home game right now. Our second game against Wake Forest is going to be in Winston-Salem, taking on the Demon Deacons. Did I get a new computer yet? Not yet, Tyler. A vehicle is a little bit more important than a PC at this point. All right, second down and 10, just like that. Start off with a fullback dive. Maryland does have a pretty decent halfback, Merrills. And he'll pick up four yards here off the left side. Kirk on the stop. The free safety. They're going to go four wide receiver set here out of the shotgun. John Jensen in the chat. What's up, man? Uh-oh, deep shot, left side, overthrows his man. We get the three and out. Let's go. This may be the only time you cheer for UNC as a Duke fan. <laughs> I appreciate the support, man. I do. I know how hard it is to root for a rival, you know, in a video game. Adam Podlesh on for the punt. Here is Mo Ivy, the freshman. Uh-oh, didn't get a whole lot of blocking on that left side. All right, offense. It's Durant time, baby. No snakes here. Our overall record is actually 15 and seven. I was just on the wrong profile for the first stream of this season. Pass. Mo Ivy's going to drop the first pass of the ball game. I'm late tonight. Yeah, I had a pretty long and crazy day, John. But I made it. Michael Gregory in the chat. What's up, Mike? How you doing, buddy? All right, second down and 10. And Lewis runs over a lineman. Picks up five or six yards. And Miami beats Virginia Tech 28-14. They remain undefeated 9-0 on the season. And Sean Taylor had a pick six in that ball game. I miss watching that man play football. He was such a beast. All right, what do we 
we got here? Bowman wide open. First down, Tar Heels. Let's get it. Can't leave him wide open like that, fellas. Ninth ranked offense in the country, 446 yards per game for the Tar Heels. Oh, you could have got that block. Come on now. Would have got around the edge right there. Probably get five or six more yards at least. Feels bad. All right. Let's see what we can do here. And Mitchell's wide open. Right at the marker. Beat Maryland so bad they leave for the Big Ten early. <laughs> I'll see what I can do for you, Marvin. And they are not going to give us the first down, actually. Number one team in the nation on third down, 71%. We are just fantastic. Very efficient team this season. And Madison Hedgecock gets it on the triple option. Move the chains for UNC. Ivy, he's open. I wanted to throw a corner on the right side. Just didn't didn't have an opening. But I'll take an eight-yard reception from Mo Ivy. You best believe. You know how crazy the world is, guys? My wife had to call Dollar General tonight to reserve baby wipes. They had to hide them behind the counter for us to be able to buy them. People are absolutely insane. Red Zone scoring 97%. The efficiency is just fantastic. What do we got? What do we got? Mo Ivy back corner. Oh, I'm picked. No. Oh, our second pick in the red zone. Feels bad. Oh, man. Durant didn't really have a whole lot of air under that pass. If he'd had just a little more air under it, he might have got it to the back of the end zone. Wow, there was a clipping on Mo Ivy as well. Out of the back of the end zone. Fantastic. All right, all right. Try to blitz a cornerback here out of the nickel. Let's see what happens. And they're going to run it with Merrills. And he gets it up past the 10-yard line. Oh, boy. Tackle by Kirk. Could throw a bad result on that pick. Yeah. It's a little rough. Can't make every throw, you know? He's been fantastic all season long, but making risky throws sometimes is it's just gonna catch up to you. Yo, Rocky, what's up, brother? Gonna go triple option here. Fullback does not get anything. Oh, he fumbles the football. Kirk has it. Kirk inside the 10 yard line. Let's go, UNC, baby. I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I saw the fullback, you know, had somebody tackling him, I, I closed my eyes. I was itching my eye. I had no idea there was a fumble. Clutch. Let's go, Kirk. Ain't no challenges here, bruh. You had sliders for supper. Nice, nice. I had barbecue chicken. It was fantastic. We pass, and Mo Ivy drops another one. His second drop of the ball game. This is just unfortunate, guys. I don't know what's happening.
All right, let's try to pound it in there with uh, Jacques Lewis. Jacques Lewis walks in for the touchdown. Tar Heels on top. Let's go. It was Kirk with a K at the end that recovered the fumble, Tyler. Marcus Mariota signed with the Raiders. Feels weird. Although John Gruden does love him. All right, so despite a couple Mo Ivy drops in the first quarter and an interception in the red zone, the Tar Heels take the 7 0 lead after a forced fumble and recovery by their defense. And DeAndre Hopkins got traded. That is the dumbest trade I've ever seen in my life. You trade the best receiver in the NFL for a bag of potato chips from Arizona. Like, what are you doing? Johnson was well past his prime. The man is injury prone. He's made of paper mache. How could you possibly justify that trade? Don't get me wrong, David Johnson was great like four years ago. What has he done for us, you know, since then? Nothing. He has done nothing for the league. You can't stay healthy. Alright, pass left side, open his suitor. And that might have got them a first down on the first play of the drive. the quarterback sweep here and Roland picks up eh, maybe four yards on the carry not a bad run for a pocket passing quarterback second down and seven I'm blitzing oh boy nice run if that was play action that quarterback was toast 27 yards for Merrill's on four carries. And they're going to keep it on the ground here. Merrill's picks up four more yards. See if Maryland will keep pounding the rock. That might have been the final play of the first quarter, and it will be. So North Carolina on top, 7-0 as we enter the second quarter here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The Tar Heels looking to remain undefeated. Not a whole lot of offense there in the first quarter. And just kind of a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, I'm blitzing. It has been decided. So hard to make that play. Holt. Oh, we can't get the pick. They're going to get him for pass interference, too. Feels bad. Come on now. That's a BS call, ref. BS call, bruh. All right. First and 10 from the 27. Russell forces Merrills back to the left. He is dropped for a loss of three. Second and long now. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. As Crawford gets a nice little carry. Up four yards. Both of your brothers go to UNC and you still can't stand them? <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool, though. Deep shot left side. Deflected up. Almost picked off. He probably would have ran all the way back to the house with that one. NFL draft is pushed back. I don't know if the regular season will be pushed back. I have no idea what's going on. The world is just going insane for no reason. 
Nick Novak on for the field goal. He's 17 of 21 this season, along of 54. Very good kicker. Wow, he missed it. Maryland still scoreless here in Chapel Hill. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I thought for sure he was going to make that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let's see if we can get something going here, guys. Malivy, cut it back to the middle. Picks up 16, 17 yards. All right. Single coverage, Mike Mason got him inside the 20 down to the 11-yard line. Big play, Mike, with a huge catch. Big Mike, let's go, baby. Cannot leave it one-on-one -on -one coverage out there. I'm going to test them every time, and that corner is so small. Let's extend that lead, shall we? That was not a good play. Not a whole lot of blocking on that right side. Feels bad. I hit Bowman on that post. Nope. Over the middle, Mike Mason drops it inside the 10. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Third down and 13 for the Tar Heels. Had a very late start to the stream. But we're here. Let's get it. Who wants it? Mitchell. Wide open, and I don't think he got the first down. Let's go for it. Boston College beat number two Pittsburgh, 30 to 27 in Pittsburgh. What a huge upset. Wow. That is crazy. LB State's in the chat. What's going on, LB? Zachary Joseph in the chat. Which year is better on the PS2? Well, my personal favorite is this one, NCAA Football 2004. But well, I guess we're going to kick field goal now. Uh, NCAA 06 is probably the most popular on the PS2. But 04 is my personal favorite. Hunt on for the field goal to make it a two-score game. Kick is up and good. Freshman, I believe it's still perfect on the season. All right, 10 nothing. Defense is playing pretty well so far. <coughs> so if we win here in this ball game, expect us to move up into the top five with the Pittsburgh loss. Get him. Please tackle him, thank you. Not sure if you're new or not, LB. But I do appreciate the support tuning into the stream. Go ahead and join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below. Subscribe if you are new. So a couple days left on our subscriber dynasty. If you want to get yourself a player in that, you'll have to join the Discord for that. Recruiting window ends, or closes rather, on the 18th. At midnight. Uh, second down and 10 here for the Terps. All right, we got cover two man here. And they're going to keep it on the ground. No play action. And Rollin is just destroyed. Oh, my goodness. 
That looked really painful. <laughs> I think they were trying to set up a screen to the right side of the halfback, and that just took forever to develop and resulted in the sack. Side caught, and Suter's got the first down. There's a flag probably for a face man. No, it's a holding. We finally get a penalty to go our way, and that is going to back Maryland up to third down and 28 on their own 11-yard line. Can't wait for the new players for the FCS Dynasty. I know, Tyler. There's a lot of new faces in there, man. Still got like 30 recruits that haven't even made a player yet. They're down in 29, it says now, instead of third and 28. They're going to go screen left side. They might chuck it deep. They do. And it's picked off. Alex Russell has another one. Alex Russell has a third. Pick six on the season. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's go. Absolutely bonkers right now. Wow. That seems like a nice touchdown run with Chester Taylor, Zach. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love doing stuff like that. Running down the field without your helmet on. You can't make plays like that in the newer Maddens. Seventeen to nothing now. After the Alex Russell pick six, the third of the season for the young man. Oh, Gaddy just got wrecked. And they get us for a face mask. That's all right. Two twelve left in the first half. See if we can get another one. Let's go, Russell. Try to stop that run. Cut it back to the inside. I like it. That's all you can do if you're the safety on that play is to just try to secure the edge and force them back to the inside. Maryland only 41 yards of offense so far in the game. I think at this point, Oregon and Clemson, they both had like 200 yards of offense at least. This is a weird option play. Nice juke by Crawford. And gets three yards on the carry. They're down and four upcoming. Let's go three, four, crash gold. Get it. Come on now. Over the middle, and the receiver never even saw the ball. Rowan is one of six for 11 yards and a pick six, and he's been sacked once. Durant, not a whole lot better. He has a pick, no touchdowns or anything like that. What is the best FCS team in NCAA football 04? That I do not have the answer to, sir. The only game that I've touched the FCS schools in is 06. Mo Ivy on for the return. Bouncing off a couple guys. Mo Ivy cuts back to the right side and drop it to 42. All right. Yeah, NCAA 06 is the only college football game that I've ever done the all FCS dynasty in. Good pass over the middle. Mo Ivy. Up inside Maryland territory, 10-yard reception for the freshman. O5 has the best player models. Yeah, O5 does have really nice player models, I can't lie. This is the backup tight end. Remember our starting tight end, our freshman, uh, Greer, is injured for the rest of the season. 11 weeks, he is out. 
Yeah, our next dynasty will be NCAA 05. I think I'm going to do a created school. Here's Durant just taking off. Get out of bounds. Avoid the hit. What team has a better fight song? Brown or Grambling? Oh, it's definitely Grambling. 100%. No question. You can't put an Ivy League school up against an HBCU and expect the Ivy League school to win when it comes to a band or a fight song. And Durant sacked, loss of five. That's unfortunate. We'll call one of our three-time mounts. Third down and 13 now. I had the pleasure of seeing the Savannah State Tigers marching band at the halftime of their game against the Miami Hurricanes two years ago. And let me tell you, folks, that was absolutely phenomenal as Mo Ivey drops another one. He is having a rough game. Greer will make it up next season. He's really good. Yeah, Greer's going to be really good for us the next, you know, at least two seasons. Mr. Mo Ivey needs to stop eating all that popcorn. Yeah, we're going to have to punt the football here. All right. Let's get that coffin corner. Let's get it. Not as good as I thought it would be. That's all right. It's out of bounds inside the 15. I'll take that. Let's go. 23 seconds left. Seriously, just not a whole lot of offense by either team, really. It's been a pretty tough sledding here. Coverage, fullback gets it. He's dropped at the line of scrimmage. And it looks like Maryland is just content with running this clock out. Pretty hard fought defensive slugfest here so far. One really good drive by North Carolina. Well, really it was two, but the one ended in a pick in the red zone. Just our second trip to the red zone this season where we did not put up any points. That is the end of the first half, 17 nothing. North Carolina on top of the Maryland Terrapins here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina in ACC play. It's not the popcorn. It's got thick strippers. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> wow. Okay, Pollock. You almost broke free, buddy. See if we can get some yards here, perhaps. We can't even really run the football either. And our little dink and dunk passing attack hasn't been doing a whole lot as well. Come on, Durant. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to take off here. Just die for the sticks. I don't know if I got enough for it, though. No, I did not. Third down and one. Let's go with that triple option. Oh, that's too easy. Madison Hedgecock falls forward, picks up four yards. It just left the center of the line just completely wide open. You're playing NCAA 14 with your nephew and he made, named a player coronavirus. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Throw it up. And the backup tight end drops it. That was unfortunate. I didn't really have a chance on that play, though. Second down and 10. We can't run the ball, so we got to keep trying to toss it. Boy, I see him. I see him, guys. Don't worry. Nice catch by Bowman. Oh, my goodness. No way. No way. Bowman inside the 20-yard line. What a run after the catch. Wow. Oh, wow. I thought for sure I was going to run out of bounds here. Surprised myself with the acceleration. And almost took it to the house. Jay Washington in the chat. What's going on, Jay? How you doing, buddy? 
That play was ridiculous. The acceleration from Bowman on that play was just unbelievable. And Lewis is open, and he's dropped inside the 15-yard line. All right, second and five now from the 12. Bowman with the stop and go. That man was insane. I don't know how I didn't run out of bounds, Zach. I have no idea, bud. <laughs> That play was insane. The rant. And I pressed square to slide, but he did not want to, apparently. We'll take that first and go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't mean to do that. That feels unfortunate. Feels real bad. You don't have to love it, guys. You don't have to. All right. Second to goal now from the 11. Probably the best drive of the night so far. Mo Ivy. Are you kidding me, Mo? Really, dude? Come on now. Come on now. Feels bad. Up to 20 viewers now on the stream. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. I love every one of you. What's up? Bowman wide open for the touchdown. He's so fast. Oh, my. What a route. I gotta draft one of these receivers from the Tar Heels into our Falcons franchise. I have to. Whether it be Bowman or the big guy, Mike Mason. It'll probably be Bowman, though. We need that slot guy in ATL. And it is 24 to nothing. What is Maryland doing right now? Mo needs some of that stick him. <laughs> I can't disagree, man. Dominique Foxworth back to return the kickoff. He's got one touchdown on the season. Come on, baby. Uh-oh. Oh, he got wrecked. Crack that turtle shell and pour in the Cajun seasonings. <laughs> so hurtful. And yet, so, so good. All right. Let's see if our defense can keep it going. They're playing really well tonight. Let me go triple option. And spin. How, how did he get the ball to him? How, Sway? How? They're doing a pretty uh, good job running the football with Merrills. He's averaging almost five yards per carry. And they only have 11 passing yards. you got to keep running the ball. It's the only way they're going to get back in it. Just not with the quarterback. <laughs> Lance Rowland injured his chest on the play. He did get hit pretty hard on that run. Maryland more like Mayor lose. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. <laughs> I play Miles Dawkins. <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for a couple more halfback direct snaps. And Holland back is sacked. Defense is just wreaking havoc against Maryland tonight. Fourth down and nine. They have 46 yards of offense. Come on, Mo. At least catch this one, bud. Come on, baby. Okay, Mo. Can I get this block? Nope. 
Mo Ivy inside the 45 yard line. Nice return. Oklahoma is 10 and 0 on the season. Haven't tried to hit Pollock on a, a route tonight yet. Not that I can remember. All right, Bowman. Down to the 34. I'll take that. This is the Terps' best uniform set. They went full Oregon. <laughs> I actually like their, their helmet that has, like, the flag in it. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, Lewis with a nice spin. Okay, then. I'll take that. Five carries, 22 yards, one touchdown. Hasn't been a whole lot of action on the ground so far in this game. Rolling out for the game with the Bruce Sternum. Get pansy. Walk it off. Yeah, I'll just get back to the line of scrimmage. That play was going absolutely nowhere. Second down and nine. Carry. That's the backup halfback getting a reception over the middle for the first down. Both defenses are playing pretty well tonight. Just over 200 yards passing for Durant. And a pick. Oh, boy. I'm going to take off and get this touchdown. Oh, down to the two-yard line. Nice run for Darian Durant. Heisman hopeful. Maybe not after this performance. Not, not really a whole lot going on. That was some great defense. Literally just walked in. <laughs> wow. This just got from ugly to uh, even uglier. Even without having a whole lot of offense, it's about to be 31-0 to zero here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And it is 31-0 after a six-play, 42-yard drive to 151 off the clock. I, I don't know what Maryland is doing. They apparently do not have a quarterback that can throw a proper pass of the football. And yet they're not running the football with their running back, who's averaging almost five yards per carry, but only has eight touches. draw with Merrill's and he picks up about four yards that's the end of the third quarter gets fours up in the chat it's 31 nothing folks I know it hasn't really been like too much of an exciting ball game for you guys but just a dominating performance by the defense Okay, Russell. I like the effort. How is Maryland ranked 25th? Houseway. Oh, I misplayed it. He might be gone. That's unfortunate. Best play of the night for Maryland. Might have just ruined our shutout. 
Feels bad. So sad. Holland back one one fifty eight yards. What a legend. It's a legend of the game. And it's picked off anyway. Oh my goodness. Wow. When it rains, it pours, baby. Let's go. Unreal. That's actually crazy. And Lewis picks up a few yards. He's having a rough night running the ball. He did not fall for the play action one bit. Too early to call for shutout? I don't know, man. I gotta get away from my own end zone first. Bowman, got him. Oh, Bowman, no way, no way, Darius Bowman, he's gone. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a play, Darius Bowman, 95 yards to the house. Woo! Wow. That boy fast. He got get away from the cop speed. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. That is crazy. That spin move. That speed. Come on. That was nuts, guys. 38 nothing. <laughs> wow. Nice tackle, nice tackle. This whole game has just been just ridiculous. There's a whole bunch of bonkers going on here. So much bonkers. And Bowman's just a sophomore, guys. <laughs> he gets to play one more year at least here for North Carolina. Deep shot. Oh, boy. He misplayed that, but he should have had a pick. This is unreal. Jared Green in the chat. What's up, Jared? How you been, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. And they're going to go screen pass. Left side. Holland Beck gets the pass off. And Merrill's gets the first down. Nice effort by the halfback. You'll love to see it. Audrey in the chat. What's going on? How you doing? Back up to 20 viewers on the stream. Don't forget to slap that like button. Subscribe if you are new. They're going to set up another screen pass here. And Hollenbeck is sacked again. Let's go. Three sacks with one player. Just an onslaught here tonight. And now up to 21 viewers on the stream. You guys are the greatest. Let's get this ball back. And Hollenbeck sacked again. Ferguson forced the fumble. And McDonald scoops it up and turns it back up to the 10-yard line. Wow. 3rd down and 30. Sweet baby Jeebus.
You know I'm going prevent. Third and 30. Come on now. High snap. Deep shot picked off by Holt. And he is dropped at the 20-yard line. Momentum carried him into the defender. Whew. Maryland can knock it out of their own way. A bad snap from the center leads to a bad throw from the quarterback. Trips are getting rickrolled. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 100%, man. This is unreal. I think Wake Forest is going to put up more of a fight than these guys. Bowman again. Bowman gone again. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. What in tarnation is going on here? Just an explosion of points here in the second half. Wow. They just completely forgot how to guard Bowman here in the second half. Unreal. Forty-five nothing. What? What do you mean? <laughs> this is crazy. Get him. Okay, there. We might get a 50 burger shutout here, folks. Merrills runs a man over and gets the first down. He has definitely been their best player on offense so far. Get some uh, playing time for Kirby at quarterback. We get the ball back. Oh boy, not a good throw. I feel like I've been saying that all game long for Maryland. Second down and ten now. Really? Pullback run? Really? Down by a million, they're just going to run it. Seems legit. Maryland, one of seven on third downs. North Carolina, five of seven in this ballgame. I'm blitzing. Why not? I missed. Oh, nice play. Get him, Kurt. Oh, boy. Feels bad. All right, Michael, take it easy, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by. I know it was a late stream. Come on. Come on. See if they throw another pick inside the 20. He got destroyed, but he gets the first down for Maryland. Down at the 21-yard line. Got to get ready for another day of insanity at the store. Yeah, good luck, man. <laughs> You're going to need it. Bunch of crazies out there, man. I'm telling you. Deep shot to the end zone. Holt 
deflects it away and gets the big hit on the receiver. Guard the TP. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Oh, boy. Guard it with your life. All right, second out of ten. They're going to toss it out. Harson spins back to the inside. Inside the 15-yard, the nice seven-yard carry for the number three running back on the roster. Come on, defense. Pull back dive. Oh, he got wrecked. Please go for it. Please just keep going for it. Thank you. All right, defense. Almost got a shutout here. Please don't ruin it. Uh-oh. No! Okay, we got to stop. Why are you taunting, sir? You're getting beat 45 to 0. They're going to score a touchdown, aren't they? Feels bad. Please don't snap the ball. Please don't snap the ball. They didn't snap it. We got the shutout. 45 nothing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That was their best drive of the entire game. They just took an absolute butt whooping. Stick around for our second game of the night, folks. We're going to be traveling to Winston-Salem, North Carolina to take on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Nice little rivalry matchup. They will definitely put up more of a fight than the Terps did in this game. I don't know what they were doing on offense, but it was no bueno. Unreal. 45-nothing. Get out of here. We didn't have any offense until the second half. And then Bowman just went off. We had one turnover. They had four. It was a defensive slugfest for the majority of the half. The uh, first half, actually. Unbelievable. Bowman. Just three touchdown receptions. Wow. Durant, three touchdowns, one pick, 69% sack three times. Long of 95. Really no rushing yards here, but Jacques Lewis with two touchdowns on the ground. All right, Tyler, take it easy, buddy. Bowman, 199 yards receiving three touchdowns for the sophomore. Wow. Mike Mason, one for 47 tonight. And Moabi with four drops. He had more drops than catches. What are you doing, my guy? Four tackles for a loss for Jonas Seawright. Our senior defensive tackle. He had three sacks. And Gerald Ferguson, the corner, freshman corner, had a sack as well. I believe he also forced a fumble on that play. Kirk recovered it. And defensive touchdown for Alex Russell, of course. Josh Hunt, one of one field goals. Davin Huber, one punt, 34 yards. Inside, that's 20. And a 24-yard punt return for Mo Ivy. Who has the better fight song, UNC or Wake Forest? Oh, you know I got to go for them. Heels, come on now. What kind of question is that? How did we just shut them out? I, I just, I don't understand. Yeah, we'll save all that later. Whatever. Alright, let's see how far we move up in the rankings. We'll at least be number five in the nation. With the Pitt Panthers losing. And we do jump up to number five as we travel to Winston-Salem, North Carolina to take on our four and five Wake Forest Demon Deacon rivals. We are 9-0, and riding an 11-game winning streak, dating back to last season. We're on the cover again. That's Mike Mason. Out of nowhere, the Tar Heels sneak up to a number five ranking in the latest coaches poll. You know what this reminds me of, guys? It reminds me of when South Florida came out of nowhere that one season 
I think they beat West Virginia. Uh, they beat... Who else they beat? Uh, Virginia Tech, I think. They just had, like, this slew of huge victories, and they got up into, like, the top five in, like, four weeks or something. Something insane when they were unranked to start. Heisman watch. And Darren Durant falls two spots, so he's back down to number four after that performance. He did throw three touchdowns in the ballgame, but he didn't have any rushing yards, and he also threw a pick. He has 30 touchdown passes this season, just five interceptions, and five touchdowns on the ground as well. He's been phenomenal. He might go for 4,000 passing yards this season, which would be insane. Did I look at everything? No, well, don't care. And don't care about Oklahoma either. Let's check the... Uh, Report card real quick. Rumor on the street is that several schools are looking to you to lead their programs next year. Well, it ain't gonna happen, brother. We're gonna turn North Carolina into a powerhouse. All right, let's do it. They're gonna Wake Forest. They are better as far as their overall, not by much. But our rankings, oh my goodness. 15th best offense. We have the number nine defense in the nation. Number one rush defense. Pass defense could use a little bit of work. And the rush offense for Wake Forest, 217 yards per game. Number 14 in the nation. That might be a little bit difficult to contain here in this ball game, especially since it's an away game. And Notre Dame beats Georgia. Oklahoma still undefeated, 11-0. I believe Arkansas just won again. Auburn is 10-0. And, and we're going to go with the all-whites. Those icy whites, baby! Let's go. Now, we won't be having uh, North Carolina Tar Heels tomorrow night. I have an SFL game I have to attend for the Florida Storm. Uh, but possibly, if I have enough time afterwards, I will stream a mystery game for you guys. Could be fun. Just depends on how late the game goes. Do you have North Carolina's playbook on here? Yeah, this playbook is fantastic, man. Just dink and dunk all game long. Our passing attack is nasty. All right. Let's get this dub. 10-0, baby. Here we come. Hopefully. And Anderson will kneel it down in the end zone. And Demon Deacons start off with their own 20-yard line to start the game. First play of the game, Russell can't get there. Nice play out to Anderson. Oh, it's a fumble, and Montgomery recovers it. Okay, then. Never lucky. I was so close to getting sacked. And they're going to come out in the Maryland eye right here. This is a formation I do not enjoy trying to defend. And they're going to go triple option. And Godzi goes nowhere, maybe two or three yards. USC beats Oregon State, 36-29. And now they'll come out in the regular eye formation. Oh, not fast enough. Barkley, close to the sticks, maybe a yard or two shy. And they'll mark it third down and inches for Wake Forest. No, I got him. Alex Russell with the stop. He is so good. What a tackle by the freshman strong safety. 
Let's do this. That was a huge play. And I'm going to call a safe return here. Because they are near midfield. And this is college football, so who knows what's going to happen here. Plackmeyer on for the punt. And Russell is going to muff it. Recovers his own fumble, though. Oh, my goodness. That was scary. All right. Let's see what we can do here. That's a 10 from the 21-yard line. Bowman, wide open. Bowman, still going. Oh, my goodness, they can't stop this man. Wow. And it was actually Bowman that was on the... Uh, Sports Illustrated, not Mike Mason. I got their numbers mixed up. Makes sense, though. Bowman had a huge game, almost 200 yards, receiving three touchdowns against Maryland. Crowd is pretty loud in my headset right now. Over the middle, not a good throw. I should have threw that, you know, a second earlier. Try to get the ground game working just a little bit here. Man, all the lanes just close so quickly. They're down at six now. Ray Senga in the chat. What's going on, Ray? How you doing, brother? Appreciate you stopping by, man. Don't forget to slap that like button. Pollock. Got him. And he got the foot down. First down, Tar Heels. Let's go. All right, let's go with something weird here. Let's do a wide receiver screen. I don't know if we've run any of these this season. This one is to Mo Ivy. And Mo Ivy gets nine yards. That's a pretty good play, actually. I like that. If we were able to get to the outside, we might have scored, though. Ivy can't get it there. So close. Really tight coverage by the safety. They're down in one now. You know we're going to run that. Come on now. Come on, Lewis. Nice run. First down, Tar Heels. That's too easy. See, we can get small chunks of yards on the ground. We just haven't been able to break any any big runs. Good, good. Hiding from Corona. Oh, you afraid of the beer? What happened? Malivy. Malivy, first down. Freshman gets inside the 15-yard line. Eight plays, 66 yard drive so far for the heels. Oh, Bowman open and drop inside the 10 yard line. If we got the ball out a little bit more towards the sideline, he would have walked right into the end zone for the score. Set up another screen pass here. Ivy. Can't get any blocking, though. It gets maybe a yard on the reception. Brings up third down and five.
How bad did we beat the Turtles? 45 nothing, John. Oh boy. I guess we're gonna have to kick field goal here with the freshman. That <laughs> feels bad. We're still undefeated. Yes, sir. We're about to go 9 0 or 10 0 right here. Let's go. Hopefully, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Anything could happen in rivalry games, man. And punts. Kick is up, and it is good. We are on top. 3 0 to start the ball game. 12 place, 65 yard drive. Took three minutes off the clock. Really good drive. Disappointing we couldn't finish it out with a touchdown. But I will take those points. Come on, Clayton. Get him. Oh, what a hit. Shot over the middle, Montgomery up to the 40-yard line. Nice route. Nice little post. They did a post corner on that side. Hard to defend when it's one-on-one -on -one coverage on both targets. And they're going to go draw play. Barkley, nice stiff arm, and falls forward near the sticks. They do not give him the first down, though. Second down in inches. I got the tight end here on man coverage. I missed the tackle, but we get him anyway. Nice stop. Did they really give him the first? Wow, they gave him the first down. There's no way he went forward. Zero percent chance of that. Uh-oh, deep shot, left side, deflected away. Great play. Let's go. It's so hard to trust the computer on those types of plays. They'll just let them go up and try to make a play. I know if it was 06, the DB would have just let it go right over his head for the touchdown. Let's go play action here. Left side, caught, fumble, and recovered by Wake Forest. Unreal how fast they recover that, man. Actually unreal. And Boston College, after beating number two Pittsburgh, goes and loses their next game. And Gazi, deep shot. And deflected away by Holt. That time, I did not trust the computer. <laughs> I had to go make that play. Time for one more play here in the first quarter. Tar Heels on top, 3-0. Very hard fought game so far in this first quarter. Deep shot and dropped. And that'll end the first quarter. North Carolina on top, 3-0 here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina against their rival, the Wake Forest Demon Deacon. down to 10 and that pass is incomplete wow <clears throat> and they're gonna go for it not surprising they're not in field goal range and no reason to punt it 10 yards to go here on fourth down uh-oh, he's open too, and they got him inside the 10-yard line. What a throw and catch. Feels bad. Wake Forest looking for the upset. The tight end here. Right side, it's actually the wide back. They're going to hand it off to him. 
And Barkley is dropped at the six-yard line. No gain. They're going to go the same play. This time it's Bergs. He's dropped for a loss. Loss of maybe three yards. I'm really impressed with this defense this season. Obviously, the best performance they had of the year was last game. 45-0 shutout against the Maryland Terrapins. They're going to go to the tight end, Carruthers, and he is stopped short. They're going to kick a field goal now to tie it up. Or try to. Neither team has 100 yards of offense yet. And they do tie it up three apiece here in the second. Nice 12 play, 63 yard drive. Took 248 off the block, almost identical to our field goal drive as well. Kowarski Pollock on for the return from the seven yard line. And gets it up past the 25, nice return. I told you guys that Lake Forest would put up a better fight than Maryland. I knew it was going to happen. Mo Ivy open over the middle. And he's going to fumble it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's not dropping the ball, he's fumbling the ball. Get him! Nice catch, oh my goodness. Might be one of those games, guys, where everything goes in favor of the opposing team. Oh, I missed. Oh, boy. Oh, it feels bad. That was a great run by Barkley. I whiffed on my tackle attempt. That's unfortunate. Man, Wake Forest on top now. Ten to three here in the second. Two play, thirty-four yard drop, twenty-two seconds. Mo Ivan needs to stop dropping my football. Not a very good kick. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? All right. That's your second fumble, Mo. You're done, buddy. Sorry. I just, I can't do it, man. Two fumbles on consecutive touches. No thanks. He's going to cost us the game. There's Mitchell filling in for Ivy. Nice catch. All right, get the first down. Let's go. Lewis moves the chain. No score yet in the Arkansas-South Carolina ball game. And they're going to go 
man coverage here. Get the block, please. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? Three fumbles? Come on. That wasn't a bad pitch or anything. He just threw the ball after he, he caught the pitch. Just basically tossed it. Yeah, I saw him. I'm just going to take off. Nope. Mo Ivy. Let's go, Mo. Thank you for holding on to it, buddy. Still not putting you back in that number four spot, though. Maybe next stream. Once you've earned back my trust. Quick pass left side. Bowman inside the 35-yard line. Quick strike. A seven yard reception for him. Oh boy. I panicked just a little bit. Throw it up. Pollock, he's there. Down at the six yard line. Eight consecutive completions for Darian Durant. All right, let's tie this bad boy up, shall we? Okay. Yep. I don't want to talk about it, chat. I don't want to talk about it. Weird play all the way around. All the way around. Oh boy, nobody's open again. Oh, here we go. Let's go, Danielson. The backup tight end gets into the end zone for his first career touchdown. Let's go. Tie it up, please. Josh Hunt on for the extra point. The freshman kicker boots it through. And we're all knotted up. Ten apiece here in the second. Eight plays, 79-yard drive, 251 off the clock for the Tar Heels. Seventy-three kick returns for Anderson. That's how you know your defense is terrible. Gotta get him. Or not, or not. Okay, cool. This game got me so focused right now. I don't want to mess up. Deep shot left side. Man, wide open. He had a couple steps on the linebacker, but he just missed him. Both quarterbacks doing quite well for themselves in this game. Oh, boy. Nice catch. I don't know about you guys, but today has just been exhausting for me. My goodness. Deep shot left side, picked off. It's Holt. He might be gone. Holt needs a block. Holt gets the block, and he is in for the pick six. Let's go. That is the play that we needed. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Had to do a little cutback action to get that block, baby. Let's get it. 
First bad pass of the ball game. Just jump the route. Now, if they had a back juke in this game, I would have used it right there. Instead, I had to use my own little makeshift back juke. We have seven rushing yards this game, guys. Seven. And just like that, we are on top. 17 to 10. Might be the play that we needed to get the momentum in our favor. Appreciate that, Jared. This defense has been playing really good this season. I'm loving it. Guess I'm covering the fullback. I'm gonna blitz here. Man, and that was a good decision. Alex Russell destroys Godzi in the backfield for a loss of one. Young freshman making a big name for himself. One of the best safeties in the nation. Looks like they're just going to run the clock out. And Russell with another nice tackle. Might as well call our timeouts, right? Air Force is ranked 14th in the nation. That is crazy. A few timeouts left for both squads. We get a stop here. We might get like some crazy punt return. Thirty-one yards for Barkley on seven carries. If some of these teams just gave their running back like twenty carries, you know they'd have a pretty good game for themselves. Ivy on for the return, and he will return it. Nice block, Ivy. Oh, can't get past him with a spin, but gets it inside the forty-yard line. That's going to be the end of the first half. 17-10, Tar Heels on top, looking to go 10-0. We get the ball to start the third. Let's get it. Pretty even stats for the first half as far as yards. Jaworski Pollock on for the return. Had to just run it straight to the 20-yard line. I'd like to just be able to get the ground game working a little bit, but it's just not going to happen. There's seven yards rushing. There we go. I, I wanted to dive, but all right. Durant with a nice run up past the 35-yard line. Bowman on this out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Why not? First down for Bowman. Ten consecutive completions now. Dink and dunk, baby. I'm telling you guys, use North Carolina's playbook in this game. It is so much fun. You got yourself a quarterback with some accuracy. You don't need to throw it deep. Let's go, Lewis. Best run of the ball game. Couldn't stay in bounds, though. Gave him nine yards on the carry. Oh, Lewis to the outside. Look out. Jacques Lewis 
He is going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Let's go. Two score lead, baby. Huge play. I don't know what that linebacker was trying, but he completely failed. What a run. One of our best plays of the ball game so far on offense. And they are offsides. They still won't block it though. And it's going to be 24 to 10. After four play, 81 yard drive took just under a minute off the clock. Barkley on for the return, dropped at the 19-yard line. Not a very good return. Let's see what they can do on offense now. Haven't had much success lately, and Barkley tries to spin, but doesn't get too far. Down and four. The route is on. <laughs> I don't know, John. We're only up by two touchdowns, buddy. <laughs> Let's get a couple more scores on the board. Then we'll talk about a route. Carruthers stopped short. That'll bring up third down. Russell tackles the quarterback, Barkley, in the open field. And Brown drags him down the 44-yard line. Barkley almost to 1,000 yards on the season. 967 with five scores. Really not a whole lot I could have done on that play. Hit the quarterback, he just still made the good pitch. They're going to go option again. Look out. Oh, nice tackle. Oh, my goodness. And that was Holtz. And then they had the pick six earlier. Holt and Kirk going to be double covering the receiver on the left side of the screen. And now they're not. Awesome. And Godzi is sacked. Let's go. His defense is just outrageous this season. I'm going to bring a corner on a blitz now. Let's go Ferguson. A freshman. He had a forced fumble and a sack last game. I got the half back here. Deep shot. Oh my goodness. How? How did he catch it? Let's go Clayton. Let's go, Clayton. I'm just running around being crazy. <laughs> Let's go. That was huge. Now, if we can get another touchdown on the board, that might be enough to close this one out, I think. And there's a false start as soon as I open my big mouth. All right, first down at 15. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go a little play action. I might bite on it. Nope, they did not. Okay, nice. Okay, we're just <laughs> we're just gonna take that out of bounds. You back? What'd you miss? Ah, uh, you missed a pick six by Holt, our corner on the left side. Uh, what else did you miss? Malivy fumbled twice in a row on consecutive touches. 
Uh, Jacques Lewis fumbled. We ended up moving Mo Ivy to the number five receiver spot. And what else? We recovered a fumble just a minute ago. You know, just crazy things happening here. Oh, what a pitch! Oh, Lewis can't make him miss. He's down inside the 40-yard line, though. Oh, you missed a long touchdown run for Jack Lewis. He just juked to the outside and smoked the defense. Let's go, Pollock. Pollock to the outside, getting a block. And Pollock brings a tackle, and he's gone on the wide receiver reverse. Let's go. Unstoppable. Mo was trashed the last two games. Yeah, he's had a rough, rough time in this stream, man. Look at that block. Oh, my goodness. Jaworski Pollock just running people over. Let's go. Where are we ranked? We are currently ranked fifth, HT. Number two, Pitt lost before our last game. So they dropped out of the top five. And we took their spot, basically. 31 to 10. Close this game out, get to 10 and 0. Then we only have to worry about two other teams, one of them being the Duke Blue Devils. <laughs> you told me the rap's on? I know, John. I know. Try not to get too ahead of myself, though. <laughs> you know? I don't want to jinx myself. Besides, Wake Forest has been playing pretty good this game. Just a couple of bad plays here and there. Okay, then. The biggest thing this season that I've noticed is just the running game for the opposing teams. They're just not giving their running backs a lot of carries. And it is losing them football games. Mess around with Duke would be that trap game? Absolutely, Marvin. Just out of nowhere, they'll put up 50 points on us and beat us. I'll cry. I will cry myself to sleep that night. And they're going to go option. And Russell with a huge hit on Barkley. Let's go. Uh, here comes the pesky Maryland Eye. This game's have not been close. Well, Florida State game was close. There's actually been a handful of close games, really. Some of the scores don't make it seem like they were close, but we were just able to pull away in the end in a couple of them. All right, first down for the Demon Deacons. I don't know who we face next. Stick around after this game to find out who our next two opponents are. Those games will be out Wednesday night. They're going to keep going option. And Godsey only picks up a couple yards on the left side. Lewis, a couple big runs tonight so far for the Tar Heels. And I got the fullback, so I'm going to blitz. Hope he throws it. Oh, no. Good block, but an overthrow. He felt the pressure and couldn't hit his target. He's up third down and six. Oh, blitz again. Alex Russell with a huge hit on the quarterback. Let's go. Defense and running game is way better than last year. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Especially the defense. Like, the running game, we've had 
uh, a couple hundred yard games here and there and a nice 200 yard game but the defense went from like bottom tier <laughs> to like top 10 oh broken tackle okay oh I thought he was gonna break another one wow Mo Ivy man he's got big playmaking ability he just needs to hold on to the football as he has had a rough goal. Let's try some some tunnel screens here. And that was not a good play. It's weird. We got rid of, well, we didn't get rid of, but Willie Parker, you know, went pro. And he was a really good running back. He just had, he only had a couple of good games last season for us at all. And that was the final two games of the season. There's another fumble for Jacques Lewis. The second of the game. And I'm going to let that take us into the fourth quarter, guys. So get your fours up in the chat. we got a three-touchdown lead here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, against the Demon Deacons. And let's just see if we can get our tenth win on the season. This will be our twelfth straight victory if we're able to hold on for the dub. Wake Forest clinging to life. They are attempting to get to a bowl game. They need two more wins on the season. Obviously, we are already bowl eligible. And we might be going to a big bowl game. We're down six. Who wants it? Danielson. He's got it to the 35-yard line. The backup tight end makes a nice play. Got his first career touchdown in this stream tonight. Perfect throw on the run. Durant is really good at that. You gotta get him to boo. <laughs> oh boy. Just gotta mess with the crowd a little bit. Don't mind me. Alright, first down of 10. Let's go. Nice run up the middle. Oh, Jacques Lewis! What a spin! And a touchdown! Oh my goodness! Look at the agility. 100 yards in this ball game for him. Just his third, maybe fourth 100 yard game of the season. Oh, that was nasty. Oh my goodness. Is Durant a senior? Yes, he is, sir. He is a, se a redshirt senior, rather. Oh, this is definitely his last season. But that's all right, man. We got Kirby waiting. So no worries. I'm actually going to put Kirby in after this next drive. 38 to 10. It all started this season with a big upset win against the Florida State Seminoles. We've been on a roll ever since. Broke his ankles with that spin. Yes, sir. Quintrevion Collier, how you doing? Hope you're doing well, staying safe out there. We have more rushing yards than passing yards. When has that happened in this series? The answer is never. I'm blitzing again. They want to keep making me cover the fullback? Oh, I can't now. I got to cover the guy in the slot. The Michael option my side, though. They're going to go option, but to the other side. Man, Russell <laughs> drags him down. Oh, my goodness. Barkley's having a great game. 12 carries, 64 yards. It's a 5.3 yard average. He also has a score. Durant going to get drafted thanks to this season? Yes, sir. No CFL for him this time. He might go for 4,000 passing yards and 40 touchdowns, which would be... Absolutely unreal. Barkley in the open field just about. 
Gets it up past the 35 yard line. They should just keep feeding this man. 13 carries is not enough. This reminds you of the 05 Kansas Jayhawks. Isn't that the season where they went crazy for no reason? Or no, that was like 08 or 07 or something. Uh, what's his name? Mark Mangino as the coach. That big guy. Uh-oh. Russell saves the touchdown. Barkley gets another first down, though, for the Demon Deacons. And Oklahoma looks like they are just going to roll through Texas A&M. Auburn fighting off Ole Miss 26-17 currently. Carnell Williams leading the Tigers in rushing. Action. Oh boy, overthrew everybody. <coughs> Alright, brother, take it easy. I'm probably going to pass out after this game because I am exhausted. It's been a long day. You shot right side, it's picked off by Ferguson. Oh my goodness. Wow. How did the receiver not catch that? It looked like a pretty good throw. Oh, he tried some weird spinning reception. The computer gets the unfortunate... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? The unfortunate... Uh, just give me a second. I'm old. I'll think of it. Corey Stukes injured his hand on the play. Unfortunate animation. There we go. My goodness gracious. You can tell I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Man. All right, second out of five. Oh, that's right. I wanted to put Kirby in, get him some playing time. We got to get the young guy in there. He is the future. Just run it. And Lewis gets the first down. 7-17 on the season. 11 touchdowns for Jacques Lewis. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Mike Mason to the end zone. Got him. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Kirby, you are ridiculous. Man comes in, throws one pass for a touchdown. You love to see it. Unreal. I didn't think they were going to leave Mason one on one out there. You know what I've noticed this season as well is that our offensive line is protecting Durant a heck of a lot better than they did last season. That is for sure. So a lot of the times last season, oh, it's a bad kick probably. Oh, not, not too bad, okay. But a lot of the times last season, you know, I had to run for my life with Durant. And that forced a lot of bad throws that resulted in interceptions or just, you know, overthrows or throws out of bounds. And that stalled out our drives a lot of the time. So we were putting up a lot of yards. We just were not producing a lot of points. Now this season, we are very efficient on third downs in the red zone. Durant is insane with his completion percentage on the year. And nice throw out to Anderson up to the 32-yard line. He is balling out tonight. Six for 126 yards. 21-yard average. No touchdowns, though. But our team efficiency has been just fantastic. And that is a big reason for the change in our overall 
you know, our, our record on the season. Pass left side. Burks is dropped by Russell. He's going to have the first down, though. 107 yards passing over the middle of the field. But Darian Durant, he has so many targets to throw to on offense. Our defense has been absolutely phenomenal for the most part this season. It's pass left side. It lets is short of the sticks. Second down and three. And I'm blitzing, design blitz for Russell. Oh, I missed. No, that's a touchdown. Clark Kent with a touchdown reception. Superman out here. What's up? Wake Forest closes the gap a little bit. See, they're getting a good amount of yards. The thing is that most of our opponents are playing like we did last season. You know, a lot of yards, not a lot of uh, efficiency or consistency as well. So the roles were basically reversed. And I like it. And they're going to go for an onside kick here down by a bajillion. Appreciate you guys sticking around for a couple blowouts here tonight. Not really as expected. I sure expected Maryland to put up much more of a fight than they did. 45 to nothing? Are you for real? And now we put up another 45 points here against Wake Forest. And this is recovered by Dunn. I think he's the number three tight end. But again, like, we've had a bunch of fumbles here tonight. I think we only lost one of them, though. Oh, boy. I was just bouncing around for days right there. Well, I don't even know what our, our turnover differential is yet. I haven't even looked at all this entire season. Like, at the actual numbers of how many takeaways we have versus how many, you know, throw throwaways and fumbles we have. Maryland already had leaving for the Big Ten on the brain. <laughs> that could be why they got destroyed. It could be. Okay. Lewis picked up a couple yards up the gap. Up the gap. But after this game, we'll take a look at the stats quick. And then look at our next two opponents for the season. Our final two regular season games. Barkley, player of the game for Wake Forest. Holt, player of the game for the Tar Heels with that pick six and a forced fumble tonight. Let's get a 50 burger. You're so greedy, John. So greedy. Okay, then. Lewis gets the first down. <laughs> Cuts back. 150 rushing yards for Jacques Lewis. He is 100% exhausted now. Okay, Malivy with the catch, gets the block, and there's the 50-burger. That one's for you, John. What a run after the catch. Oh, my goodness. Great blocking downfield. Blake Forrest just doesn't have a whole lot of defense out there in the secondary. A lot of speed, rather. Oh, boy. 455 yards of offense here. Fifty-two to seventeen. Like I said earlier, um, I have an SFL game to attend tomorrow night, so there will be no Tar Heels Dynasty tomorrow night. 
but it will be back on Wednesday night. But if after the SFL game I have some extra time, we'll be doing a mystery stream with a new game that has not been on the channel yet. That is if I have enough time. That is not a definite. But either way, that game will be on the channel at some point. All right, John, take it easy, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by as always. Deep shot right side, and that is incomplete. And Godzi was wrecked as he got rid of that one. Yo, what up, Rocky? You still here, buddy? Like, Godzi hasn't really played terrible. I mean, he does have two picks, but he's 14 to 24, 226 through the air with a touchdown. Just something is just not clicking for these schools against us this season. Deep shot right side. I'm covering two guys down here. How? That's a touchdown for Wake. That's all good. I, I had to cover the guy in the post and the corner. How am I supposed to cover two guys? Russell's good, but he, he is not that good. Come on now. Be in two places at once. Houseway. Little garbage time touchdown for the Demon Deacons. And it is 52 to 24. You never left, Rocky. Awesome, dude. Okay, Gaddy. This is a linebacker on the return. All right, let's run it one more time. Get out of here with the dub. Jock Lewis gets the first down. Oh, my goodness. What a game from him. 15 carries, 163 yards rushing. And a couple touchdowns. That is going to be it. We got the dub 52-24 to here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina against our rivals, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. They are now 4-6 and six on the season. We are 10-0 and right now. Two regular season games left and a possible conference championship game at stakes here in the last, the last two games. The final two regular season games will be streamed on Wednesday night. Stick around after we take a look at the stats to see who we'll be facing. One of those games is going to be the Duke Blue Devils, but I do not know who the other team is. I just can't remember. All right. Wake almost had 400 yards of offense. Only 87 rushing. They they needed to give their halfback the ball more. And he was doing really well. We had no punts in this game. Insane. We just kept on scoring, though. Yeah, Godsey was 15-25. 302 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. And his team got destroyed. Look at this quarterback rating for Nate Kirby. 2 of 2, 67 yards, 2 touchdowns, with a 711.4 quarterback rating. Wow. Daring Durant, 14 of 17, 178 yards, 1 touchdown, no picks. He's probably going to drop out of the Heisman watch list now. Didn't get enough stats in this ball game. Jack Lewis, great game, 163 yards, 2 touchdowns. Jaworski Pollock with a touchdown run on the wide receiver reverse. Mo Ivy with a touchdown catch. Still at the team in yards and um, receptions in the game, even though we pulled him out of the game. Mike Mason, 1 for 41 on a touchdown. Garen Daniels in the backup tight end, 2 for 31 yards and a touchdown for the backup freshman tight end. Alex Russell, 7 tackles, 3 for a loss. We had 7 tackles for loss in total. Malik Brown had 2 sacks from the outside linebacker spot. We had 2 picks, a couple deflections, 3 forced fumbles. One recovered, and a pick six, of course. Josh Hunt, one of one field goals, no punts. 
Nothing crazy on returns. Moabi did have a 24-yard punt return, which is really good. But let's go ahead and simulate this, uh, the remaining games for this week. And then see what happens after that. Alright. I'll save it after. Ooh, this should be a good game. UNLV versus San Diego State. Wow, the Aztecs won it. 31-27. What a great game. Hoping for some more top five losses here. So we can continue to move up. And Pittsburgh beats Virginia Tech, who's still ranked at five and four. Unbelievable. Marshall loses to Miami of Ohio. Our next game is versus the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. They're four and five on the season. And then we finish off the regular season at the one and nine Duke Blue Devils. That is going to be our final regular season stream. That'll be Wednesday night. Wednesday. Not tomorrow night, but Wednesday night, guys. But that is going to be it for me. If you have not already, please slap that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community. Follow me on Twitter. All that stuff is in the description below. That's going to be it for me tonight, guys. Until Wednesday night, possibly tomorrow night with the mystery stream. Late at night. Uh, yeah, take it easy, guys.